Sam, not his real name, has been in and out of custody since the age of 13. What started as juvenile delinquency turned into more serious offences. Over 24 years, he spent 15 behind bars. Now, at 39, he's a university graduate working in the fitness industry for almost two years. It's sad that all the time that I spent through the juvenile system, no one identified that I had potential to actually make something on myself. People talk about our Indigenous culture as, a, as though we're bad people, but most of us aren't, and like police usually just tend to pick on us most. Being around substance abuse and crime meant Trey was at risk of ending up in trouble with the law. This was before he was introduced to a social club that aims to keep young Indigenous kids in school and out of trouble. If you have programs from an early age, um, from, from primary school leading into high school, you can really build that solid foundation so that it's going to be less likely to happen. That sentiment is at the heart of the justice reinvestment campaign launched today. Even though the campaign is being launched here in New South Wales, the issues are national. The overall aim is to reduce the high Indigenous incarceration rates across the country. Across every state and territory, Indigenous incarceration and recidivism rates are significantly higher than average. Indigenous communities have higher rates of poverty, substance abuse and unemployment than their non-Indigenous counterparts. They also have poorer health and education standards. All factors, the experts say, that lead to crime.